Hello, Bakra Nation. It's Craig, your X Games host. We're going to be taking a journey on a new challenge. I hope you'll join me for the trip. Hit that subscribe, like button, hit that notification bell so you won't miss an exciting moment. Let's get going. All right, let's get things started on day one of the X Games Challenge. Going to be basing this off of Mr. Raphael's X Marks the Spot. As you can see, this is what you don't want to see. You don't want to see an X form, whether it be by... Um, bankers or players okay so this will be the betting sequence I'll be using it's also based on mr. Raphael's star 2.0 betting it's also very similar to something I used before but I do like this betting sequence and I will be tweaking it a little um, as you see on stage one my base bet is going to be five dollars when I get to a negative seven units I will then switch to stage two which will be strictly my recovery mode and you can see these are the bets I will have to make. There are 48 units are needed. I will have a buy-in of $1,200. My profit target is three to five units, which will be 15 to $25 a session. My 30-day goal is $1,500. As I mentioned, my base bet is $5. I'll be doubling the bet after a win as needed. I'll be using money management to determine if I need to double it or not. As certain circumstances come up, you'll see how I deviate from it. Let me fast forward to when we actually started playing. Okay, so here we are. Uh, as you see, my starting balance here is $1,200. And I'm going to be going to table E. Please place your bets. Since I am done playing Live Dealer, I am back in my home state casino. And I will be strictly staying to the RNGs here, which I'll be using this one because it's most realistic to live play. Zoom in here. We got the free hand. I'm gonna take a free hand. All right, banker. Oh uh, yes, I've been having uh, internet connection problems again. <laughs> as soon as I get internet internet slow down, it'll take my balance away and then bring it back. So. Not sure what's been going on with that. Had these problems before. Switched a router and that improved it. But lately it's been hit and miss. So just something to have to deal with. So let's see. Let's, I think we got okay. We got one banker. Got my scorecard up here. We're using the bead road for this. I think I didn't mention that before. If you couldn't figure it out, it is the bead road. So we need another free hand. And I hate this new design with the. Um, scoreboard up top and the, the shuffle being so close to the free hand I've hit the reshuffle so many times okay we got two bankers now so we are going to bet five dollars on the player this will be our first position we can bet at banker wins and banker wins okay so now We'll be using two blocks for the X, so we'll be moving into the second block now, so we need to get a couple free hands here. I think I'm also explaining why I'm using the, I'm not using their bead road because it includes the ties, which messes up everything. And plus it's really hard to see. <laughs> all right, there's another banker. So that means all my bets will be players, which is how I like it. So we need another free hand here. Ah, another banker. Okay, so this will be our player bet. So we you know, we haven't won anything yet. We're down five. So um, we're gonna bet 10. To player. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, five, because we didn't win. So it would be five. <laughs> Almost made the same mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> tie and a tie so we will rebet that player wins 
Okay, won that one. So now we'll take another free hand and go back to the top sequence. We'll be betting the middle spot on both sequences. So we need to take a free hand here. Get the banker. Just realized I don't since I don't have a tally counter up, I don't know when I reach my goal, so I'll try and keep track on the balance, I guess. Okay, so we've got a banker, so now this is our, our um, selection. We won the last one, so we're going to double up to $10 on player. Player wins. All right, nice. Get that one, so now we'll be going back to base bet on the second sequence. So we'll take a couple free hands here. I guess we won both sequences. So now we cleared the board. I don't think we won the first sequence. I'll have to check the video. <laughs> I don't remember. I know we won a couple, so we must have. Maybe. Kind of tough doing it again this way. Okay, another banker. Now this will be our player bet. Should be base bet. Yes, five. Temporary problem with the game server. Click that. Hopefully everything works again. Have to rebet. Banker wins. And banker wins. Just like last time. Three banks in a row. Okay, so we'll mark that down. There it is. Okay, take another free hand. balance because of a connection issue and then they give it back Leia all right this will bring up a uh, player bet now five dollars banker wins hey okay that was my first banker bet <laughs> All right, won that one, so we'll take a couple free hands, and the next bet will be doubling that up. Okay, jumped ahead to our next betting opportunity. We'll be betting for the center of the X. And we're doubling up to $10. Since this video was re recorded a couple sessions ago, I don't really remember if I went for three or five units on this, so I guess it'll be a Thank surprise you. to both of us. Okay, and we lose that one. So we're going to take uh, two free hands and then start again at the middle of the bottom sequence. Actually, since we already won the bottom sequence, I will now be using no mirror on the bottom three and trying to pick up one unit. So I will be betting one unit to banker. All right, won that, so that's the one unit I wanted to get out of that block. So now we will skip ahead to the third column top for the next betting opportunity. Anyways, back to the top. <laughs> um, this will be a bet for player. And 10. Oh, I must have did the no mirror and I won the first bet. I must have edited too far. Sorry about that. Player wins. All right. There we go. Double up on that one. And now that completes both the top and the bottom. So, unless I forget, we should be clearing the board and starting our next sequence. Take a free hand. Knowing me, I'm looking for a player. Or, I'm sorry, a banker. <laughs> we are up $14.50. So, let's see if we stopped it. I don't know. I'm guessing I didn't stop at three. I must have went for five units. Unless it turns really bad. <laughs> All right, two bankers in a row means we're going to bet player for the first bet of the first sequence. 
Oh, I must be going for three because I uh, only bet a dollar. This is when I'd be using the money management because I only needed a dollar to hit my Both target. So I went down to a different uh, bet spread and used a dollar bet as base. All right, there's a player bet. So that means the next bet will be player. They will all be player bets. Betting one unit at a dollar. Banker wins. And yeah, we lose that one. Okay, top of the first sequence will be going for the two middle positions on this line. We get a player, so we will be betting player on this one for the middle. Another tie. And the bet limits for this particular table have been changed. Open the bet limits to view your current limits. Just like in the live evolution dealer version, at a certain point in the shoe, they lower the bets on the uh, bonus bets. Which, since I don't play the bonus bets, doesn't really matter. So now we need to bet on the player. And after that, I probably forgot how much I need to bet. So I guess it's a dollar. <laughs> Player wins. All right, get that one back. Now we're going to skip down to the second sequence middle. Okay, here in the second sequence middle, we're going to be betting a player bet, and we're going to be doubling it up since we won our last bet. Wins. And we lose that one. Okay, next bet will be first sequence top next line. Alrighty, we will be looking for. Oh, actually, that one's done, so I'm going to do no mirror here on the top sequence. Try to get one unit. So it was player, so I'm going to be betting on banker. Player wins. And I lose. So I will do it another shot. We'll go for another banker bet. Getting deep into the shoe, hand 67. Don't have a whole lot left. And a tie. Try again. Player wins. And a lost again. Alright. Do I go for one more time here? It would be a banker bet if I did. Alright, let's see if we can get at least one no mirror bet off the top sequence. Banker wins. There we go. At least we got one back. Okay, now to the bottom section. We will be looking for a player bet to double up. All right. We're putting our first bet sequence sequence <laughs> player <laughs> doubling up. Win. And we lose that one. And that's the last hand of the shoe, so we will be shuffling up a new deck. And since it's a new deck, I probably am going to clear the board and start over. We'll see what I actually did. Frankly, I don't remember. <laughs> that's what I should have done. Burn eight cards. Yep, I did clear the board. Alrighty. I imagine I'm going to look for a banker. Unless I change up and go for the player side. Okay, I did wait for it. So we're going for the player bet. Player wins. Alright. Alright, we are at 213.45. 
apparently I went back to a $5 base bet unit now since I was down a little. Um, now we're looking for some free hands. And we'll move to the second sequence. Well, oh no, we could, we're done. Yeah, well, technically second sequence, but we don't need to show that because we won the first one. So, oh, I guess, am I taking the player? Nope. Yes, I am. Okay. Looks like we'll be betting on Banker this time. Okay, second one, Banker. So that means I will be betting Banker and doubling up. So, oh, it's again. Looks like I'm going back to my dollar units because I'm close to winning. I must be just gearing for that three unit mark. So here we go to Banker. Banker wins. Alrighty. Won that. We're at 214.40. Less than a dollar away from my target. We won that one so I imagine we'll clear the board. Alright, clear the board and taking a free hand. Banker. He's all my bets on that level will be player. Next one's a player, so our first betting opportunity will be to player. And betting one unit at the dollar level. Player wins. There she is. All right. $1,215.40. That gets us a solid three units and rough start to the first video <laughs> but made it to the end and pretty sure that's all I'm gonna have on day one so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next video as we continue the X Games challenge until then Bakra Nation signing out